so happy that you guys turned into this video. For those of you that went to the Baby Expo here in Lincoln, Nebraska, you got your egg and you got some information about that egg related to that you want to keep and have equal pressure around this egg from a two breathing diaphragms and two pelvic floors. You want both your breathing diaphragm and your pelvic floors to kind of work in a mid-range. They either on the left side, the, both your breathing diaphragm and your pelvic floor will go up together and the right side will go down or the right side they'll go up and the left side will go down. And we need those two structures, your breathing diaphragm and your pelvic floor to go up or down to help regulate pressure inside of you. That pressure regulation inside of you helps you and I to vocalize. It helps us to be able to laugh. It helps us to be able to yell. It helps us to be able to speak. And it helps us to be able, that pressure regulation also helps us to move bowel um, so we can defecate. And that pressure also helps us to put pressure on our bladder um, so we don't leak if we cough or sneeze. And it also helps to put pressure on a bladder so we can get complete urination. Well, the ability for your breathing diaphragm, your pelvic floor to go up or go down is controlled by bone or rib, rib position and your pelvis position. So the analogy that I would give you is if you have a trampoline, and I want you guys to envision the trampoline, the metal structure of that trampoline, that metal part of the trampoline needs to be in the right position for the belly of the trampoline to go up and down. And that's like your pelvic floor, or that's like your breathing diaphragm. If you don't have the right structure around that belly of that trampoline, your trampoline, your belly is gonna plummet to the ground. And when your pelvic floor goes down, your breathing diaphragm goes down, now you cannot regulate pressure inside of you. And so therefore that can lead to stress incontinence where you leak when you cough or sneeze. It could lead to urgency, where you feel like you have to make frequent tri trips to the bathroom because of an inability to put pressure on your bladder to get all the urine out. It could lead to pelvic floor tension. It could lead to back pain or hip pain. And so we take an outside-in approach at our clinic because if the pelvis, this is your pelvis, this would be, you guys, like the structure of your trampoline. And if this pelvis is in the right position, then your pelvic floor is not going to be in the right position. Guess what? You have two pelvic floors. You have one on the left side and you have one on the right side. And we do not spend time in life with both feet on the ground at the same time or both feet in the air at the same time. So you've got to learn how to regulate both your left and your right pelvic floor when you go to walk or run or to do life playing with your kids, you have to shift your body weight from side to side. If you cannot regulate this pelvis position or regulate your pelvic floor, you're gonna get a crack in your egg. You're not gonna be able to regulate pressure inside of you. And it's the same thing with your rib position. Your ribs and your pelvis will either come forward together, they will usually come forward together. And if your rib position goes up, guess what? Your breathing diaphragm isn't going to be in the right position to help you to breathe. And they either go down or come up together. In an ideal world, we want your pelvis to be what we call neutral. We don't want it to become forward. We don't, don't want it to over -tuck. We want to get your pelvis in a neutral position with your ribs coming down. When you're putting weight on that leg, that allows both your pelvic floor and your breathing diaphragm to go up. That will help to compress pressure on your left side to help hold your bladder up, to help you to defecate. It'll help to put your pelvis in a good position so you don't get low back pain. If I can hold and maintain ribs down and pelvis back. When my right leg swings through the air, my ribs should come up just a little bit. My pelvis should come forward a little bit to allow both of these pelvic floor and pelvic diaphragm to go down so it can release so I can swing my leg through the air. Then I come over and get on my right leg. The right pelvis should come back, ribs should come down. This should relax. So here, my pelvic floor, my breathing diaphragm go up. 
this should relax a little bit and these should come down. If we lose that ability, we're, that's going to create pressure, problems inside of us, or it can create pain. So just to give an analogy of that, you guys, this is your breathing diaphragm and this is your pelvic floor. This is putting weight on your right side. When I put weight on my right side, both my pelvic floor and my breathing diaphragm should go up and on the left side, both should go down. I transition my body weight on my right side. When my right leg is swinging through the air, this should go down and my left side should go up. That helps out with pressure regulation. When you lose the ability to get that pump up and down, that will create problems inside of you of pressure problems of stress incontinence, urgency, painful intercourse, or if you're structured, your trampolite is in the right position, that can create a side pain or low back pain. Because now if the structure of my trampoline is coming forward, I can compress my back. Or I can compress my SI joint. Or if my pelvis is coming forward not the right position, that can affect my hip position. And that can create more external problems of hip, back, but it also can lead to internal problems of your pelvic floor. And so you're, that's why at our clinic we will take an outside and approach. Because you can do all the kegels in the world but you may not get the results that you want if we're not looking at rib position and pelvis position to help both the breathing diaphragm and pelvic floor to help regulate pressure inside of you correctly. So that's what we'll look at. So we will take an outside in approach. If you need an inside approach, we will help you hook someone up to help you out with that. But before you do Femi combs or do Kegels or do some of that great work that might need to be done, Let's make sure your pelvis and your ribs are in the right position to help you with low back pain or hip pain or to help out with pelvic floor dysfunction. I hope that explanation helps. Thanks for tuning in.